they don't allow foreign cards. <laughs> yeah, you're on YouTube. Hey. It's too steep. Okay, that's it. Trudy's in the garage. After arriving in Malaysia, the 22nd country on our around the world drive, we were forced to change our plan route due to the monsoon rains. It's an area of enhanced convection working into Malaysia. So we headed inland towards one of the oldest rainforests in the world. It is trying to rain a little bit this morning, um, which is normal for this time of year. But hey, we're British, rain never stops us, right? So let's get the map on the side of the van and just show you the plan for today. So the plan today is we're going to be driving straight north um, up into the Tama Negra Park um, and we're going to probably try and park up and visit somewhere right at the end of the road in Kuala Tahan. We were originally, um, after the weather, going to skip going up there but we spoke to a local yesterday at the Vanilla Farm who said that it should be open um, and we should be able to see some of it and if not it will be a beautiful drive through the Malaysian countryside. So yeah, excited. Right, let's hit the road. Oh, that's not good, hold on. Cupboard's open already. Oh, hold on, cut that. Okay, start that again. It's one of those mornings already. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a, good, a good night's sleep here. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Look, they've got the little temples, little shrines. Somebody praying this morning. But we've been coming into these hotels because it's been so humid in the van and it's no fun actually in Trudy at night. It's like seriously, we were starting to feel ill and we've only done a few nights in Trudy. So hotels here are like 15, 20 pounds a night. So for me, it makes perfect sense just to dip into a hotel, get some air con, cool your body temperature down before you go again. Yeah, that's something I did not even think about in a UK van. You know, because we wouldn't even think about aircon really. No, but I would get um, in the aircon. older vans. Yeah. But I would definitely put if we if we did a build um, of our own, I would definitely put in aircon. And the thing is, Trudy's insulated, so she's made to made to hold the heat for the cold English weather. So the drive north is about two hours this morning. So although it looks grey now, the weather over here can change pretty quickly. So one minute it's uh, cloudy, and one minute the sun can come out. So uh, we just got to go with it today and not worry too much about the weather. It is what it is. The problem with going in and out of the van and into the hotel is you forget stuff. Stuff gets all over the place. Um, so yeah, so last night I didn't take new clothes into the hotel. So this morning I've just changed my shirt in case you're wondering, hey Chris, you look different, that's why. So now I feel all fresh after the shower I had this morning. So because we're going off the beaten track a little bit today, I'm not sure how many petrol stations there's gonna be. And we've only got half a tank, so uh, always safer just to, uh, to top up. So yeah, if you see these diesel things, this doesn't mean that it's run out. This is just to stop you putting the wrong fuel in. So here you go. London's freshest coffee pit stop is here. I love that. <laughs> Do you feel like you're at home? I think we better buy a coffee for the road. Tea. Although I feel like vanilla latte as we're in the vanilla thing. Vanilla? No. Latte. No. Latte. No. Latte. No. Latte. I drive. She drive. Oh. I drive. Oh. She drive. He make the video editing. I video. make video. And I drive. <laughs> yeah, you're on YouTube. Hey, thank you for the coffee, ladies. <laughs> Terima kasih. And chicken puffs. Chicken puffs. <laughs> bye bye. See you again. Okay. The ladies in the uh, petrol station saw the van and they were very excited to see Trudy's from England. <laughs> when we got a Costa coffee, that should wake us up. Taste of home. in the middle of the road there's always Kentucky fried chickens there's a lot of Kentucky fried chickens in Malaysia there is, that is true. so that's uh that's the first for me a chicken rendang sausage roll wow. <laughs> it's very good Marianne 
you got quite a few crumbs from your from your chicken pizza puff this morning. Yeah, <laughs> it will have to stay there till I stop. I can't worry about it whilst I'm driving. There's something about that pastry and then when you eat sausage rolls and stuff, you always end up wearing more than you eat. I love experiencing life in the towns, but it's always nice to leave and head into the countryside. I've always had a love for trees and forests. They just make you feel good. And of course, you see things that you don't normally see in towns. You'd think after driving in Malaysia for the past month that um, we'd be used to it, but there are actually banana trees out there. I, I was just processing in my mind. We went oh, it's a monkey oh, running across the wire. Running across the wire. That's hilarious. That's my point. That's mad. Monkeys. Cockerels and chickens all the way down the sides of the road here outside the houses. I love that. I love that. And the little chicks. Little chicks. That's a very impressive looking. Is that a temple? Okay, so that's the second bank we've gone to in the last couple of days, um, but they don't allow foreign cards which is interesting. So uh, I don't think there's another ATM between here and where we're going. Um, so fingers crossed I have enough cash. We've had the occasional card problem before. I remember one time the low fuel light came on, so we pulled into a petrol station only to find that our card didn't work and we didn't have any cash. But normally our UK bank card does work. But two bank ATMs in a row? Okay, we found another one in 20 miles. Fingers crossed. Public bank. That was the bank we went to before, so it should work. Success. The public bank definitely takes foreign cards. It's a good one. I got the money out, so we're set up. No problems whatsoever. Walk me in the morning sun. Daman Nigara, 58 kilometers. So we're turning off the main road, yeah, and then uh, should be on slightly more interesting smaller roads. If there's ever any doubt that we're going through jungles, <laughs> there isn't any more. I think when we were planning Malaysia and talking about driving around Malaysia and getting off the beaten track. This is exactly what we were hoping for. A little bit of subsidence on the road there, a little bit of jungle, <laughs> the wildlife and the nature and the trees are just incredible. The foliage is wild. Located 150 miles north of Kuala Lumpur, the Taman Negara National Park is one of the best places to experience the rainforest on mainland Malaysia. In fact, it's home to one of the oldest rainforests in the world. It is also home to the world's longest canopy walk. But being in the middle of the monsoon season, it's not the best time to visit. But let's hope it's open. in the tops of the trees on the hills there. I just can't get over this, this rainforest there. I know there's palm here, but there is rainforest. We're nearly at the entrance to the, oh, to the National Park. Here. Expecting some kind of park entrance, but I'm not sure. Well, it's a lovely rainforest, isn't it? I'm loving that. The old motorbike sidecar. <laughs> so, this is the main town, Kuala Tahan, here in Taman Negara. So if you turn right here, it takes you down to the jetty. 
few motorbikes here and stuff. Places to eat. So if we can get to go down to the jetty, we might be able to get the, the boat down the river a little bit. Oh. It's very steep. It's too steep. Yeah, it's too steep because you won't be able to turn around at the bottom either. Where do I park though? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going to try and reverse and then park behind this red car for the moment on the side of the road there. Go. Okay. Okay, we're all parked up. Um, apparently, if you go down to the river, there's a way that you can get a boat over to go and see the canopy walkway, which would be very cool. So uh, yeah, we'll go and check that out, see if it's running today. It was a good call not bringing Trudy down here because that is so steep, so steep. And uh, she's an old girl, her brakes aren't, aren't, they're good, but they're not the best. And there's new ones just gone in, so we're not sure. <laughs> yeah, if she didn't stop, she would technically go straight into that restaurant right at the bottom. Check out how fast this river is flowing. Uh, that's because of the monsoon season. That's really, really fast. Crazy I not, fast. I would not want to canoe in that. Oh my goodness. Oh, so they got a little, there's a little floating restaurant there. That's pretty cool. What is that? That's the jetty. Well, let's go and ask the guy on the jetty there. How much mud? <laughs> mud. Mud. A lot of mud. Okay, Trimmer Thank you. Bye. <laughs> So we're going to get the boat over to the uh, to the other side. Oh, it's very fast. Yeah. A lot of rain, huh? I think if you were swimming here, you'd be gone. Yeah, uh, luggage rack. I think you can stay. Oh, that's great. And then, and then it, it goes up. Oh, that's genius. <laughs> you can't use the steps because they're flooded now. Wow, look at that. So hopefully we've just crossed the river. There should be a, a ranger station. We can ask them what's open because it's rainy season. A lot of it's closed, but. I know the canopy walk is what we want to do, but this is so cool. Barefoot only. Oh. Hello. Is this the entrance to the park here? No, no, down there. Okay. Oh, down there. Oh, the park centre's down here. Wow, this foliage. Look at this. Look at that. How tall that plant is. So they've actually got accommodation in the park here. Can't get Trudy across here, unfortunately. Uh, park centre here. So yeah, it's uh, it's typical. Today the canopy walk is closed every Friday apparently for maintenance. Um, and I said, would it be open tomorrow? And they said, if it's raining, no. If it's dry, yes. So yeah, so this is the uh, this is the hike to go up to the to the canopy walk, which is what we really wanted to do. Um, he said the other ones you probably have to do with a guide. Uh, okay, we're going to go and eat instead. <laughs> we always eat when we need to think. Um, I've noticed as well there are two flags outside. One is the Malay flag and the black and white one is the Pahang flag, which is the region uh, that we're in. Okay, it's the state flag. State flag. I understand. We really wanted to see the canopy walk because that's something we've never done before. So I think what we're going to do is get the boat back over and I think some of these huts here we just walked past were restaurants so we'll go and have some lunch there. But it is what it is. Sometimes you know yeah. these things you don't know until you get here and the weather's played a part obviously in creating a few problems. Hello. 
with such a strong current, I was amazed at how the boatmen managed to keep the boat heading in the right direction. Even more so when he came into dock. Good job. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go on this, see if they're serving food. Oh my goodness, look at this walkway. <laughs> One at a time, I think. Jumakasi. Wow, this is cool. Hi. This is a perfect little restaurant pit stop for lunch, right by the river. Nice. It's so muddy, if you were to fall in... <laughs> You'll be, be gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's fishing with a throw net. Oh, Bagus! He's <laughs> throwing the net. Let it sink down. Oh, I got a friend. <laughs> I think the cat wants to see if there's any food. Is there any fish coming? Why are you thick off? It was a wonderful symbiotic relationship the boy had with his cat. The cat followed him and waited patiently, and in return, the boy shared his catch. Ni yeah, Hun. Oh, you've got the little It's the fine noodles I got, and Marianne's got the thick noodles. With a view. Yeah. I reckon that's pretty good. Cheers. Life's too short. <laughs> the t-shirt says it all. So after that fantastic uh, lunch and look at the river, we're going to be heading a little bit more west. Um, we're going to go west a couple of hours before we find summer for the night heading towards the Cameron Highlands. And what's interesting is we thought we were going for a canopy walk. We ended up having a lovely lunch and meeting a fabulous family and the most extraordinary relationship between a little boy and a cat. There you go. Every day is an interesting day when you're traveling. brightening up a bit as we're heading west which is a great thing slowly getting more and more hilly and it actually looks like they're almost paddied like uh, to plant tea, but it doesn't look like there's any tea planted in this region. But we are still a couple of hours from the Cameron Highlands. So the landscape's definitely been molded. Okay, so we're just arriving in Kuala Lipis. So we think we're gonna stop here for the night see if we can find a little hotel uh, with aircon i found one online going over the river this is a nice little town Cool. That's perfect. And then that whack it. Oh, whack it in there. That looks good. Right. Let's see if we can get a room for the night. Great. Okay. All the ladies from the hotel were so impressed with Trudy. Hi. They want to come and see the van. <laughs> Meet Trudy. Yay. <laughs> There you go. This would do, look. 
bed, coffee, desk, aircon. I can feel it. And toilet and shower. So yeah, so this will do for the night. There's no window, but we don't really need a window. It's just, is what it is. And it's cheap and cheerful. It was like 15, 16 pounds a night. You don't need a window when you can gaze into my eyes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome back to Malaysia. It's time to hit the road again. We're going to check out and uh, it's time to go to Kuala Lumpur. It's been lovely, thank you very much. It's been a great stay here at the Starwell Hotel in Kuala Lipis. Um, Trudy's in secure parking, it's all good. But before we hit the road, we're going to go and uh, grab a bite of lunch because it's lunchtime and uh, I'm starving, as always. That is one seriously big dead beetle. Uh, that looks like a cicada, or oh, maybe that's a beetle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yesterday we had uh, a really lovely curry in this Aliaf Maju restaurant here and uh, I'm really fancying some mee goreng for lunch, which I haven't eaten enough of since I've been here in Malaysia. So yeah, we're gonna go back there for lunch. Wow, wow, look at all this food. Looks amazing. I think I'm gonna have mee goreng. Mee goreng. Oh. <laughs> Marianne's getting into the music. Good, huh? Very good music. <laughs> After that delicious lunch, we're heading back to Trudy. We're going to be driving to KL today uh, because we've got to get some work done on Trudy. If you've, uh, if you've been following us for a while, you'll remember we had some problems with the brake, um, the brake lines. So we're going to take it back, uh, get some new brake lines built. He's also going to adjust the handbrake. Um, and then we've got an RV shop um, to go and get the roof hatches fixed. But while we're there, we'll go and uh, check out and film some stuff uh, of our favorite little spots in, in KL. KL, here we come. Nice to see such a beautiful sunny day for a change. <laughs> We've lost the rain. We've lost the rain. Okay, why is it as soon as I said it was sunny, it's now gone cloudy? How does that even happen? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> but no rain. Not yet. I need you to say that we're not going to win the lottery and then buy a ticket. Okay. It was a good feeling to be heading back to KL, to finally get Trudy's brake lines replaced and to get the roof hatches resealed. Having a leaking roof in monsoon season is never good. And in a few days, she'll be all fixed up and ready to start the long seven month drive back towards the UK and home. Loving this. We're just uh, joining the highway and we got views of the, the rolling hills. And then on that side, we got the rainforest. So yeah, after after we've been to Kuala Lumpur, we're going to uh, we're going to head north and go to the Cameron Highlands, which looks absolutely fantastic. I never knew that Malaysia had so many uh, so many hills. But yeah, amazing drive today. through the Genting Highlands just north of KL here. Beautiful mountains, absolutely stunning. It 
there's one thing Kuala Lumpur has a lot of, it's flyovers. I have never seen a city with so many flyovers. They're everywhere. That's a beautiful looking mosque, that one. The guy in the car next door just bought some mango for us from the food vendor. No, How nice you. is that? Thank you. That's so sweet. We've got all the bikes, all the bikes in front of the traffic lights, raring to go. We're nearly there. I've watched the bikes that's on the wacky races. Slight left. Okay, we've arrived back at the polo club. And uh, Natasha and Peter have very kindly arranged for us to park up again. <laughs> there she is! That was perfect timing. Perfect timing! Good morning. So this morning we are going back to the polo club to pick up uh, Trudy because we're taking her to the garage and uh, I want to just say a quick thank you to Natasha for letting us use her address to receive the parts from Europe and thank you to Auto Recambi for sending them out as always they've got our back and they keep sending us parts not sponsored, not sponsored, not sponsored at all but it's just been a really, we've used them in Vancouver and all the times we've been in desperation on the road they've yeah. uh, managed to find the parts for Adriana, us Adriana, thank you! <laughs> okay, uh, Okay, that's it. Trudy's in the garage and uh, for one to three days, depending how long it takes them to get the brake pipes built, if they can. So uh, we'll come back tonight and just see how it's going. She's going to be beautiful. We just got a call from the garage to say the van's ready. So what we thought was going to take them a couple of days to do, they've done in one morning, just over one morning. So yeah, Trudy's pipes are all fixed. They built some new uh, brake pipes. We're excited. That means she's almost ready for the next leg of the adventure. Now we just got to go to the RV shop to repair the leaking roof hatches. But that's not today. That's tomorrow. Woo! Okay. So today we're doing some more work on Trudy. We're driving about an hour south. We're gonna leave um, Trudy to get the roof hatch done at a guy called Sham's place uh, that we visited in a previous video. You may have seen it. And then uh, we'll pick her up in a couple of days. So yeah, south we go. Okay, that's it, we're leaving Trudy and uh, we'll be back in a few days time. Hopefully she'll be leak free. Yes. These guys are in charge of Trudy. They're gonna be doing the work on Trudy. Thank you very much guys. We'll see you later on.